Baruchem Abayim B'Shem Hashem B'Shem Irgin Shir Ter. Like to welcome everyone to today's Shir from Harav Yaakov Zev Smishlita and when Yom Kippur falls on Shabbos. That's the great Chosah sponsoring Shir Kol Irgin Shir Ter at seven one eight eight five one eight six five one. Email ist at yeshivanet dot com. Harav Smith. Today I'd like to share with you a really delightful sugya. We have this coming week Abayim on the Toiva. We have a Yom Kippur Shachal B'Shabbos. And as we'll see, there are different halachas regarding the people that have to eat, regarding the neiris, the davening, the havdolah, and we'll even see a treat regarding the Mlava Malka. If there is one, there is a chi of this Matzoi Shabbos. And that is really the sugya, as we'll see, really what's really one the kud that we have to try to clarify. Yom Kippur has a very interesting um, essence to it. Mitzarecha, the Mishnah says in the end of Tainis, is the, Yom Kippur is the greatest Yom Tov you even have. But then again, as we know, it's not a typical Yom Tov. We don't have a Suda, we don't make Kiddush. Obviously, from this we understand that who said Yom Tov has to be eating? You know, we do many things, uh, as the Perikot of Beleza points out, that we try to be like Malachim, Tachsam Soifen, one of his Roshas, Chelik Beis, Amit Shin, Samach Tes, he says, the Yom Kippur is the Gedusha Yom Kirvus Devekis Kemalachi Asharis. The Maral in the Drashis Shabbos Shuva also says that the Yom Kippur, the Simcha is to, to get rid of the Gashmias. And for a day we live Kule Ruchlis like a Malach. There's a lot to say about that. But to put it very, you know, simply, Rabbi was once asked on a random day, what is the happiest moment of the year? And he said, without even thinking, when I make the Shechiyanu Erev Yom Kippur, I'm going into a day of such Rachamim, you know, Abchazka used to refer to Yom Kippur as a Mabal of Rachamim. But let's understand, it's the biggest Yom Tiv and there's no Suda. What's the Pshat? Is the Pshat that really we should have a Suda and Kiddush, but we have to fast, we're Oinsim. Very illogical, right? It's much more bestarved to say that Yom Kippur is the biggest Yom Tiv with a different agenda. You don't have to eat. You're not allowed to eat, in fact. So therefore, it would make sense. Even a chayla or a cotton that has to eat, who said this Kiddush? There's no chiv suda, there's no chiv Kiddush, Yom Kippur. So that's the question regarding Yom Kippur. It's pretty posh. It. Yom Kippur has a different mahus to it. It's a Yom Tiv without eating. But a little more challenging is Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. Let's put Yom Kippur to the side. It's Shabbos. Shabbos Kviva Kaima. This coming Shabbos, you know, when I was young, I always grappled with this question. How do you look at Shabbos? Is it a regular Shabbos? In other words, maybe we'll say Shabbos, there is a Chi of Suda, like every other Shabbos, but we can't do it. Oy bazoy, a choyl and a cotton that must eat, has to make Kiddush, regular Kiddush, by night and by day, and Yalav Yava, Yam Ritzay, or maybe even that is illogical. To say that Roiv Kla Yisrael are Oinsim, they can't make a Suda? Maybe we'll say somehow that Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, the Shabbos is like the Yom Kippur. It's not a typical Shabbos, it's not a Shabbos. We have much better than a, than a Gishmak Cholent. We have a day, a Mabu Sorachamim, we're more like Malachim. So there's no Chiv, Suda or Kiddush. The Nafkamina would be a choyla, doesn't have a Kiddush, doesn't have to have Lechem Mishnah, and maybe not, doesn't even have to say Ritzay. So I'll add a little more Gishmak to the question, because it's really the site of today. We also have a Tishabav Shechal B'Shabbos. There, it's Pashit, we push off Tishabav to Sunday. Why? Because Tishabav and Shabbos is the biggest theorem. Because Tishabav is Avelus. Shabbos is no Avelus. Yom Kippur... It's not a veilus. You know, someone told me he was teaching young boys in a camp. Erev Tishabov. And he asked them, what's the saddest day of the year? Erev Tishabov. So you know what one boy said? Yom Kippur. A total lack of chinuch. <laughs> Tishabov is the saddest day of the year. Yom Kippur is the happiest day of the year. But what's the essence of the day? So maybe we'll say, just like Yom Kippur is a yom to without achila, Maybe Shabbos, Yom Kippur, is also Shabbos without Achila. So we'll say, Ibo Yisayim Mekro, Ibo Yisayim Mesvara. In Svara, I think it's hard to believe that, that Roiv Rubav Klal Yisrael, this Shabbos, are Oinsim, they can't make a Suda. 
Doesn't sound right. But here's the beauty of the sugya. I don't have a, a pasik. And the truth is, as we'll see, there's probably 15 shilas, maybe more even, about Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. Is it a regular Shabbos or not? None of the shilas is in a Gemara. One of the shilas regarding Yalav Yavai is in Rishonim. So we have to look at the Rishonim regarding Yalav Yavai and extrapolate what is the essence of Shabbos and apply it to all the other shilas. And it's challenging because there's no Gemara and Kemat only, there's no Rishonim except for one of the shilas. The Rishonim discuss if someone ate a real meal, does he have to bench on Yom Kippur? So to us, about this posture, how can you not bench? Well, some suggest maybe since it's in the Chi of Tainis, so it's like he ate Be'issa, Zogdem Ram Rutenberg in the Tfus Prague, Simon and Aleph, a Choyla Sheyesh Be'isakona that ate, Avada has to bench. He didn't do an Issa. Adar Abba Mitzvah Ka'ovid, the Mitzvah V'chai Bohem. And then he says, not only has to bench, but he has to add Yalav Yavi and benching. Why? <coughs> so he's saying that Yom Kippur for a Choyla is like a regular Yom Tif. And this is quoted in Shulchan Aruch in the end of Tov Reish Yud Ches. I, Yom Kippur we said, doesn't have a Chi of Suda. So obviously, my Mutmerg is saying, but for Choyla, there is a Chi of Suda, and therefore you have to say, Yalav Yavi and benching. To use his words, mitzvah ka'avid, l'didei yam kippah k'mo'il l'didan sh'ah yom em toivim. So he's saying a bigger chiddish. He's talking about a regular yam kippah. It is a yom tiv for those that are allowed to eat. Now there is a big makam l'chalek, because even if you hold you say yalav yavai, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a chi of suda. We say yalav yavai in Shemayin Esra. So maybe once you're benching, you could say yalav yavai. But wait. This is all regarding Yom Kippur. What about Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos? So L'choyer Loit Ram Rutenberg that you say Yal V'yavoy in benching, you certainly should say it say. It's more Pashat. Because Shabbos is Kriva Kaima. And I believe that's Shad in the Knesset HaGadoyla. In Tav Reish Yud Ches, he says that the Rosh and Ram Rutenberg say you have to Yal V'yavoy in benching. Nearly the same is true in Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, you have to add Ritzay. And the truth is, it's more Pashat. Because Yom Kippur, we could say, maybe it's not a full Yom Tiv in this respect, but Shabbos is Shabbos. So we have L'Chayra, a beautiful start. Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, if a Chayla eats enough to bench, he has a, a loaded benching. Ritzay and Yalav Yom. Comes again the Taz, the end of Tav Reishut Ches, on the Mechabah, and he said, I don't understand. And he, his lotion is, Kedushas Yom Kippur, Ma Boi Hocha. He's not talking about Shabbos, he's talking about regular Yom Kippur. How could you say Yalav Yavoy on this Yom Kippur? There's no Chi of Suda. He says, someone has to eat because he's an Oynes. But Zok Taz, Avada, you don't say Yalav Yavoy when you bench. And his lotion is, Kedushas Yom Kippur, Ma Boi Hocha. In other words, he's saying clearly there's no chi of soda. You have to eat, the chayla has to eat. Ask us to hate, but no yalav yavai. And it has not the only one. The Magan Avram, Sivka, and you would quote Shibali Alek, one of the Rishonim, Shimon Shin Yud Beis, the, go, the Yoim is Goyrem Issa, it's just Pikuach Nefesh that allows him to eat. Havil Didei Kechoyel, Ein Loi Kiddush, Vlaas Karba Bechas Amazon. So this is a gold mine of information. This Magan Avram, B'Shem, one of the B'Shem, Shibali Aleket, is mamish music to our ears. He's saying on a regular Yom Kippur, I'm not talking about Shabbos, there's no Yom Tiv, a Yom Tiv not for Achila, and there's no Yal V'yavoy, and certainly no Kiddush. So therefore, we, our question about Yom Kippur seems to be Machloikis of G'dayli Rishonim. Now the Magen Avram himself seems to agree in, in theory to the Shboli HaLeket and he definitely says that on Yom Kippur a chayol that must eat should not, cannot make Kiddush it's a brochel of Atala, there's no such chi of Kiddush he says Yal Vyavi maybe should, you should also should not say but he says listen if you say Yal Vyavi there's no brochel of Atala so, so you might as well 
say Yalav Yavai, like, you know, Imla Yoya Lo Yazik. And that's the Mokan of Ram's Psak. Kiddish is the Brochah Vatola. No Kiddish in Yom Kippur. Yalav Yavai, you could say it. Like, very parv. So we have the Mokan of Ram and the Taz, both in essence are saying it's not really a Yom Kippur. The Mishtabura and Sifka and Chavtes quotes both days if you say Yalav Yavai. And in Sharetzi, and he's more decisive. The Minig is like the Magen Avram. The Chayla does say Yalav Yava if he ate enough to bench, but he does make a compromise. Zok the Mishtebura, and he quotes Pimagodim and Chayodim. If the Chayla ate and forgot to say Yalav Yava, even though on a regular Yom Tov has to preach by Nesra, this not. That's the Chayodim. The Pimagodim goes a step further. Let's say the Chayla forgot Yalav Yava, but he didn't start yet the fourth bracha. He just finished Bainay, Barach Mushlayim, Amen. So on a regular Yom Tov, Shabbos, even Shalashudis, if he forgot to say Ritzay Yal Yava, he may make a special short bracha that, that connotes the Yom Tov. So after people got them, that we don't do on Yom Kippur. And I think it's very, mis- very Lashitase. Why are you allowed to say Yal Yava? No Chashash Bracha Levatala. But this is a bracha, with Shem Malchus, in fact. So therefore, we see that the Yalviyava is pretty parav. Say it, okay. If you forgot, don't say it. If you forgot, don't add the special bracha. And this is the shita of Paiskim Allah It's not as simple that it's a yamtiv. It's like in between. Rabbi Shlaim Bezalman and Shmir Shav Islam, Betes Kuf Yud Bez. He says, let's see a person, a choyle ate cake. Should he add to Allah I know the Lush is a Chainu or some Chainu, not some Chainu, some Chainu, but Yom Hakipur Mazem. He says, why not? Just like you add in Yalviyave, why not there? Now I'll ask you a question, but it's not so simple. This was all Yom Kippur on a regular Yom Kippur. What is the Allah Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos? Does perhaps the Taz and Magan Avram agree? That at least you say Ritzay. Because the Mice is Shabbos is Shabbos. Who said the Ritzay you don't say? So in the, in the new Friedman in the Shulchan Aruch, they have the, the Kutim Mepharshim, they have Lakutim Chaver Ben Chayim. He says, he believes that the Taz is Moida on Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos that you definitely say Ritzay. Because Shabbos is undeniable, Shabbos is Shabbos. But the Mishtabura doesn't didn't see that obviously. But he says with Avapashit, like the Taz, you don't say Yalvayavai in benching, or Ritzay in benching when it's Chal B'Shabbos. So regarding Yalvayavai and Ritzay, as we saw, as we saw the Taz holds not to, the Magan Avram makes the compromise, that's the Mishnah Berit Sak, try to say it. If you forgot to say, if you forgot to say it, go right. Next question is Yom Kippur, when a Chayel does eat, does he, make, does he take Lechem Mishnah? This is Mamish Tali and what we said till now. Because if you hold it's a regular Yom Tiv, like we saw from Ram Rutenberg, we say Yalav because it's a Yom Tiv, why not Lechem Mishnah? But the Tazem Ogun Avram would say, no, it's not a regular Yom Tiv, it's an Oynis. And the Knesset Agadoyla, and that same shtikel, nearly, Bein Chal B'choyl, Bein Chal B'Shabbos, but he'd say, I'll stay kick rice. But his Svar is from a different angle as well. Because, let's think, did the month fall a double portion on Erev Yom Kippur? So he proves it had to be. For the Chayla, that had to eat, wouldn't fall on Yom Kippur. So the Knesset Doyle is convinced that you take Lechem Mishnah both on Yom Kippur and certainly Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. However, the Magan Avram quotes the Knesset Doyle and Nira She'ein Tzorach he says, because of Maisa, it's not a chi of suda. It's an oinus l'shitasai. So we have a few nafkamin, it's void turned around. What is the identity of this Yom Kippur? And what's the identity of Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos? L'maisa, the market seer, and the kafachayim, and our sim, and samach, go with the, with the Magan Avram, do it with the Knesset Gedoyla, that a choyel should take lechem mishnah, the rav, the chayodam, Say, go with the Magan Avram, not to take Lechem Mishnah. Mishnah Bura, for some reason, does not, quote, does not cite an opinion, I'm not sure why. 
The Mat Ephraim in Sif Yudzayin says, if the Chayla could do it, let him take Lechem In other words, it's, it's pretty much uh, advisable, but not a Chayv. And I would add, if you have a Chayl that has to eat, and he's depressed enough as it is that Nebuch has to eat, which is really wrong, because Ratzon Hashem is to eat, I would advise, give him Lechem Mishnah, and make a big matzav out of it. You know, like the new word they say today. Let him know he's not doing an Avera, he's doing a mitzvah of a Chayvah, and also, this Shabbos, a mitzvah of Einik Shabbos. Why not? We say Yalav we say Ritzay, we take Lechem Mishnah, light some. Now the emphasis is that the Lechem Mishnah is like the Magan Avram's Yalav Yavai. You can't lose. No, no Suffolk Bracha like, uh, like, like we'll soon see Kiddush. So let him know that it's a Sudas Yom Kippah, light some, Sudas Shabbos, and the Chai Bahem. Let him say Hidden Mucha and Muzuman. If that helps him, so then it's worth for that alone. But I would mention the Levush, Talmud of the Ramon, the end of Tav Rej Ches. He says, but a that must eat. You say, Yal V'yavai, Hav Yom Kippur, L'gav B'didei, K'moy Shar Yom Em Toivim. And he says, basically, Mitzvu Lechol K'shar Yom Tiv. So if someone does have to eat, he shouldn't feel guilty, Chalila, he's doing the Ratzon Hashem. L'maysa for a cotton that has to eat, it's logical that you don't have to get him Lechem Mishnah. Because the Chiyiv cotton is only Chinuch. We hope when he becomes a Bar Mitzvah and, and beyond that, he won't be sick, he won't take Lechem Mishnah. And talking about Ephraim, in the end of Tzorfer Yishut Ches, he says, for Ketanim there's no Chiyiv, and probably the Svar is, there's no Chinuch for this cotton. Now, question. According to the, again, on, on Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos now, would there be any more Svara that you take Lechem Mishnah? In other words, according to the Knesset Secretary, of course you take Lechem Mishnah. My shail is like the Magen Avraham, that you don't take Lechem Mishnah on a regular Yom Kippur, maybe this Shabbos is different. And I talk to the Ktsei Amata, in the very end of Tov Reish Yud Ches, he says that Lemaisa, you don't make Kiddush. But Lechem Mishnah, you should take even like the, the Machmirim on a regular Yom Kippur. Because at the end of the day, it's Shabbos. So that makes it even more understanding why we do take Lechem Mishnah. Now, a much more serious question, again, this coming Friday night, and that is a chayla or a cotton or your lettuce, whatever, whoever has to eat, and they're eating regularly, they're eating the shiurim. Do they make Kiddush this coming Leil Shabbos, Shechal B'Yom Kippur? What's the shayla? Posh it. Forget about Yom Kippur. Ma'is it's Leil Shabbos. And there's a chi of the raisa of Kiddush. Especially if you hold that Kiddush Makam Sud is only a din de Rabbonim. Mita Raisa, the mitzvah of the Raisa of Kiddush is Kadesh Ekachei Budvar. So the question is, once he's eating, maybe he has to make Kiddush. And for the rest of us that will be gesund and not going to eat, maybe at least we have a din of the Raisa of Kiddush Budvar. And you're in davening or whatever, something you should say to the Kaddish Shabbos Budvar. That could be all agree. Not because of Yom Kippur. A regular Yom Kippur, there's no Chiyav Kiddush. They never had a Chiyav Kiddush. The Torah was never Chiyav Kiddush if the day of time is. But Shabbos, why is it worse than a regular Shabbos? And Taka B'Kiva Ega on Al Magan Avram. Where the Magan Avram says emphatically there's no Kiddush on Yom Kippur. So up to B'Kiva Ega on the page. But Shabbos, Chal Yom Kippur, he has to make a regular Kiddush. Another one's going to pick up a kais and make the full nusach. Now, what exactly is the nusach? That's tricky. Because it's illogical to say, you say the yomtev nusach. Because there's no uzmayadim, uzmanim, chagim, uzmanim, that doesn't make sense. Probably the nusach is the regular Shabbos nusach, like the Kiva Egev. Because it is a regular Shabbos. Now, this is Rabbi Kiva Egev's famous Yesoid. And the Hezbo, not that he's arguing on the Magan Avram. See, Magad Avram is right. There's no Chi of Kiddush on Yom Kippur because they never had a Chi of Kiddush. But Shabbos has a Shabbos. He's agreeing to the Magad Avram by making a Chilik regarding Shabbos. However, as we know, that's not the Minig. And the Svara has to be, like we said earlier, just like Yom Kippur is not a regular Yom Tiv, Shabbos Shechal Yom Kippur is not a regular Shabbos. The way the Magen Avram, the Lashen quoting the Shibali Aleket, the Havila Diday for the Chayla, 
K'choyel. It's like a regular weekday. And I saw a fascinating tshuva from the Tzemach Tzedek, Simel Amadvav. Someone was felt very bad that on this coming Shabbos, there's no Suda Shabbos. So he had an ingenious way of making Suda Shabbos this coming Shabbos. He said, if you hold me the raisa, you yoitz a suda Shabbos with a kezayis, eat a kezayis this coming Friday night, Yom Kippur. Because really, the, the, the issue Yom Kippur is only a kezayis, which is almost double a kezayis. If you hold me the raisa, chatishir is not awesome in a Torah, maybe it's an eitza to eat a kezayis, be yoitz a suda Shabbos with the raisa, and not violate Yom Kippur Midar Aisa. So, obviously, it doesn't sound, you know, too conventional, you know, like in Cheshbonis, but the Tamar Tzedek has a whole tshuva, he has a few pshatim, but his pshat that I think is most relevant to us, says you, the question is based on a mistake. You're trying to be Yoytza, a mitzvah of Suda? There is no mitzvah of Suda, Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. And his lashon is, Kishachal B'Shabbos, Butla Hatoira mitzvahs achila Shabbos v'oinik Shabbos. In other words, our original Chakira, he is addressing very head on that this coming Shabbos there is no chiyav suda. This is the one Shabbos of the year. There's no chiyav suda or kiddush. But I can tell you a lot more than that, and that is the Hele Geverta of the Arsameach and Nochzavadis and Kippurim Perik Dal Halacha Aleph. He says an insight into this coming Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. Nearly the Kedush Yom Kippurim Chai Al Shabbos Gam Kein L'Hagdishoi To make this Shabbos as a Shabbos that's a B'Shvos Mikol Achila. The Kedush Yom Kippurim Gam L'Shabbos Mahani Sheyugdash Ba'anus Nefesh Yom Kippur has the overwhelming power to make Shabbos Ois din achila. Lochein, when we have a shayla from a chayla that must eat him kippah shechal b'shabbos, we paskin that he doesn't make kiddush. What he's saying is, yeah, shabbos, this shabbos is not a shabbos of chalent and potato kugel. It's a shabbos shabbosin, but there of drush. It's a double shabbos. It's a shabbos like that we're malachim for 26 hours and it's the happiest day of the year for us. And it's a marvel of rachamim. And like the Chassam Soifa and the Marash Maral say, we are living Malachim for 26 hours. Bust felt in Zeus. Who needs child? Then Kugel. So what's important for us, he spells out that the essence of Shabbos is not a regular Shabbos. And therefore there is no Kiddush. You should know Rav Sternbuch and Chelekei, Kuf, Peidalet, he brings a Rav Memor and Zvachim regarding Karbonis. That Kedushas Yom HaKippurim override the regular Hilcha Shabbos. Because this Shabbos is a different type of Shabbos. It's Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. Rav Moshe in Chay Shemishpat, Chaylik Aleph Lamates, the Har Tzvi in Kuf Nun Hei, I saw Rav Shlomo Zalman corrected a certain Sefer that printed to say Shabbos, on this Shabbos to say Kiddush, and he said the Minig is not like a Kibbega. There's no Kiddush, even Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. So Lamaisa, that's why it's seeing that the Minig Yisrael, although Rabbi Kiva Ega is Rabbi Kiva Ega, the Natsib used to say, a line of Rabbi Kiva Ega's tshuva is worth more than Kama Tshuva's Mother And that's the fact that Klai Yisrael is very much Mayrich to Rabbi Kiva Ega. But Lamaisa, we don't pass like Rabbi Kiva Ega. In fact, Mr. Buram says that we don't make Kiddush, and he quotes the Magan Avram, Matafrayim, Rav Shachna, Chayodam, the Ayin Chadush Rabbi Kiva Ega. He doesn't even say what he says. I think he once tells, I didn't forget the Kiveiga. I saw it. But it's not the Allah. So the Maisa, it seems, Yom Kippur Shechal, B'Shabbos, there is no Kiddush, even though this might be a Svar or two. But it also gives us a clerk in the identity of this Shabbos. Now people ask, if you know history, the famous story when the epidemic, the cholera, the cholera epidemic, so to do Rabbi Sol Salaam to help, people have to eat, because otherwise they, are, they have a low resistance, they get sick. And the story goes, he got up in the shul, in Yom Kippur, and he made Kiddush. So the kasha is, made Kiddush? So one thing, it seems the historians verified that that Yom Kippur of the Kaleria was Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. So, but you have a raya that he went to Yom Kippur Ega, but it's laughed after. Firstly, he probably made it by day, if he did. By day, all you make is a goffin. 
a gofen you can't lose. The only shayla is making the kiddush balayla, which is a piyachas kiddush. Now you might ask, but if you didn't make it at night, so you have to make it tashlumen by day. I don't think he was worried about that. I think his real point was to make a very dramatic statement that Mabuz Essen, I'm making kiddush. If he just made a gofen, then there's no raya whatsoever, because you ought to drink wine, I mean, if you have to. So that's, you can't bring a raya. But the ma'isa, the minig Yisrael, is not to make Kiddush, even in Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, there was no Kiddush ever on this type of Shabbos. Wait, but we're not yet finished. The question now is that, as we saw, the identity of the day is a different identity. Maybe, at least, what we should do is, we, healthy people, we should make minimally Kiddush B'Dvarim. That, L'Chayr, is not a steer to Shabbos. In other words, somewhere in our davening, when we say a mention of Shabbos, we have to have a mind, kind the mitzvah, of Zohar, say, Shabbos, the Katshay. Just like on a regular Shabbos, whenever we hear the Shaila, someone's very sick in the hospital, he's on intravenous, he's not eating, there's no Kiddush Makam Suda. So there's no purpose for him to, to, to hear Kiddush. What does he do? He should try to daven Mayriv, and with Shemayin Esrei, he eats the mitzvah of Kiddush B'dvar Midar Aysa. Maybe we all should do that this coming Shabbos, Yom Kippur. And that's part of Rabbi Kibbeg's Chiddush that the Welt did accept. Because that's not a steer to Kiddush Yom Kippur. Rabbi Kibbeg's son-in-law, the Heilig Chassam Soifah in the Agoyis, adds two points. Once you talk about Kiddush B'dvar, of the Chassam Soifah, then make Kiddush B'dvar even a regular Yom Kippur. And also, once you bring Yoitz a Kiddush B'dvarim, since Kiddush B'dvarim is a Deraisa, Mitzvah Sirchus Kavana, make sure to have a mind for Yoitz the Mitzvah Deraisa. Now, the Maisa, the Kiddush of the Chsam Soifa, even by a Yom Tiv, is not accepted. And the reason is Pashit. Because Kiddush and Yom Tiv are only Derabonim. Not unlike the Shabbos Deraisa. Who said Chazal Masakin? Kiddush Yom Kippur doesn't make sense. There's no Kiddush Yom Kippur. So I don't think the Welt is Chayish for this part of Chsam Soifa. But the first part, with the Chsam Soifa, we see an important halacha l'maisa that is coming Friday night at Bolein or the Toiva, somewhere in Davening, probably when you mention Mekad, when you say Mekad, the end of the Baruch, and Mekad is Shabbos, first you say Shabbos, have a mind, the Kachay with Dvarim, and like the Chsam Soifa, Mitzvah Chesgevanim with the Raisa, have a mind, the Yoyitz and Mitzvah the Raisa of Kiddush with Dvarim, and you have that Mitzvah. In the Tshuva Zichr and Yehuda, Reish Chav Gimel from the from the, the Greenwald family, he has a ksaviad of Rosh Chaim Zonnefeld, that Shabbos, Yom Kippur, have a mind to be Yoyitz a Kiddush B'dvarim, because that's the Chiyiv on this Shabbos. Now the emphasis, I saw Rosh Chaim Zalman and Shemir Shabbos, Mem Zayin, Yud Zayin, he quotes a Toysus read, one of the Rishonim earlier that says, Zachreyu, the mitzvah of, 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 of Kiddush B'dvarim, applies on this Yom Kippur. Shechal B'Shabbos. So we, it's not really a Chiddush of a Kivega only, it goes back to the Rishonim. Lamaisa, if someone is, in, I even saw quoting Rabbi Yosef Chaim Zon, I didn't find it inside, but quoting Rabbi Yosef Chaim Zon, I felt that maybe once a year, Noshim have a Chiv Dava Mayrev. And that is in Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. Because Noshim have the same Chiv Kiddush like man, they have to make a Kiddush on Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos and there's no wine, and they should have a Mayrev. Now that's a big Chiddush. But at least Nashim should say something. If they can't go to shul, they can't have a ma'ariv, at least, I guess they can say by Yechulu. Yechulu is uh, definitely kachei b'dvar. But have in mind the mitzvah of Kiddush b'dvar. Next question, which is very negay, and Chaylam asked this question. Listen, you know, he feels bad if he has to eat. Should he try to minimize in the hana of the suda? You know, maybe he should have dry, dry chalab and water, whatever, whatever he needs, just to get away with it. So this we discussed once in a different shir, that although some Paiskim hold, it's good to minimize the Hanna, but I think the overwhelming majority of Paiskim hold that if he's not fasting, Yom Kippur is a Yom Tif. So why not have a, a decent Suda? And Taka the Paiskim seemed to say, on Yom Kippur, if he's eating, he can eat a normal meal. Now, we do find something similar, but it's very different. When a Chayla has to eat on Tisha B'av, even Ketanim, which the Bura says they should eat the bare minimum, even ketanim, because that's a, a tsar of Kla Yisrael, and if he can't fast, at least be mishtatif somehow in the tsar. 
But Yom Kippur, Chas V'Shalom, is not a tzar. It's the biggest Yom Tiv. So if he's not fasting, he might as well have a, an Oynik. Now, I'm not saying there's a Chiv of making Kiddush. Kiddush not. But if he's eating, eat somewhat of a Yom Tiv Dik. And Taka, we saw the Levush said, it's Kehave Kishar Yom Em Toivim. I must, must tell you, like the Samach Tzedek and the Arsameyach, Shabbos, there's no Oynik Shabbos, there's Shabbos. But it doesn't mean that if he does, he's over. So we could say that it should be a normal Suda. Some Zalman had a feeling that Stam dessert that doesn't add anything to his uh, you know, health and uh, well-being, maybe that doesn't apply, maybe that's inappropriate. Stam a fancy ice cream that really doesn't add much. But a normal Suda, again, the, it also should give him a little of an, of, of an appreciation. What he's doing is not an Avera, it's a mitzvah. Next question which is, is a lot better than it sounds. Moitzoi Shabbos, which is Tishabov. So the Avdala has a different uh, form to it. Very interesting. We make a bracha Mori Ha'esh right away, before Mayriv. Avdala makes Sunday night. Question, what happened to Psalmim? If you're making Ha'esh, so make Psalmim. The Teretz is, Tishabov is an Avelos. And it's inappropriate to start smelling psalmim on Tisha B'av. In fact, there are some shitas that an oval, toich shiva, when he makes Avdolim at Tzoyi Shabbos, he does not take psalmim. Dominic is not like that. But it makes sense that psalmim is not stam ano, but it's ano ruchni, very exquisite ano. The reach nichoyach, even the Barstam has the chush hareach kaviyochu. So Tisha B'av is not the right time for ano reach. So now the question is, Maybe Yom Kippur, who I didn't also, we shouldn't have some. But we see people go around and they make a bracha. The teretz is, the kasha doesn't begin. Yom Kippur and Tishabav are the very opposites. Tishabav is Avelis. Some of them doesn't fit in. Yom Kippur is a simcha, it's the biggest Yom Tiv. But we can't eat, so we don't eat. We can't make Kiddush, we don't make Kiddush. But if we could have a little bit simchas Yom Tiv with Pesamim, why not? So that's another nafkamina between Yom Kippur and Tisha B'av, even though it, you know, it's Pashit. Maybe Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, there would also be a dinner of Einik Shabbos, unless you go with the Tzemach Tzedek and the Arsameyach. But no doubt about it, it's certainly Mutta as opposed to Tisha B'av. The Magen Avram in two places, Simen Mem Vav and Simen Tafresh Yotes, he also urges another reason to take Pesamim. I'm sorry, Magen Avram Tafresh Yotbeis to take Psalmim on, on Yom Kippur, because we know there's a Chiyah of Meir Brachis every day, including Shabbos and Yom Tif. Shabbos, we run a little bit of a deficit because the Shemones are smaller, but we have extra Sudis, and we have Oynik Shabbos, and we smell Psalmim, like the Mara says, so we're okay. Yom Kippur is the biggest deficit. We are short either 32 or 33 Brachis. That's a pretty big agenda. So the Paiskim are, are say that there's no other choice, we are yoytze by saying amen to the birchas of the laning with the haftaris, and there's two lanings, don't forget, shachas and mincha, two haftaris. So you add up the amens, if you listen closely, amen, that's oila for meyer brachas. Got it, this year the good news is, Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, you have an extra liyah. So, the end of the day, if you listen to all the laning, with all the brachas that is, you only show two or three brachas. So Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, you almost have it. Some say, Taka take psalmim to supplement whatever you're missing. Ashiya also works, obviously. So the Maya said that's not the, the real problem if you keep in mind that we have to hear the, the, each bracha and say amen properly and then you have meyer brachas. I'll tell you an interesting question. The Stei Chemed in Merechaz Yom Kippurim, Gimel Chof, he quotes from the Magan of Ram's Rebbe. A truth we don't have, but he quotes the illustration of this uh, Magan of Ram's Rebbe. That said that people by in his shul they smell the uh, tabak, shmok shmek tabak. And they, it seemed that it had such a powerful effect that you didn't feel hungry. So this Rebbe of the Magan Avram was very upset. Actually, he ate some apam, he said it, he said very sarcastically. He says, What are you doing? You're taking away the inner of Yom Kippur? Why are you doing that? You're supposed to feel the inner Yom Kippur. And that's a chiddish. Because if Lamais it's mutter, we see we smell psalm. But maybe he held, Psalmim is basically, Altmeya Brachis. 
but there's no bracha on 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 on, on tobacco. That, that's poshut. That this 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 shmek tabak. There's no bracha. But I did see something in the from seems to come from a different perspective. The marshag in Chelik Beis Simon Kuf Yud, the famous marshag, he speaks about the the what you're allowed to wear, what foot gear you're allowed to wear on Yom Kippur. The Panama of is held, you can't wear, wear anything, any shoes or even plastic shoes or sneakers or crocs. You have to feel the ground. That's the Panama Amir's famous Chiddush. Mashag held, if it's not leather, what's the problem? And he says, if someone's machmir, for no reason Yom Kippur, and he calls himself Inui, he's over on the Issa of Tsar on Yom Tif, Bittl Oinig Yom Tif. That's how much he holds it's a yomtiv. It's a yomtiv that you have to fast and you can't wear leather shoes. But if it's muttered to wear crocs to muscle, why not? Now, others don't say that. But it's interesting, he took that point that Yom Kippur is a yomtiv. And there's an issa of inui on yomtiv shaloy l'tzoyah. Now, that's probably very different than the Mughal of Ram's Rebbe, but I wanted you to know what I found about this sugya. Now, someone else asked me, he just got a new suit. Should he wear it on Yom Kippur or save it for sukkahs? So that's easy. The Yemma says, although there was no bigger Yom than Yom Kippur, but Yom Kippur is not a day of dressing up, but not Yom Tov finery. The Yomara in Rosh Hashanah, Daf Lamed Beis, wonders why there's no Halal Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. So the Yomara's Lashen is very striking. Efsha, Melech, Yoyshev, Akisei Din, Besifrei Chayim, Besifrei Mesim, Besuchon Lefonav, Bisrol Oymim Shira. What the Yomara is saying? Napshat, you don't, you're not allowed to. You can't. How could a person say, how isn't he, doesn't he have the pacha yayim hadin? Efsha, could he do it? So the Ma'isi Yom Kippur is, although it's a Yom Tiv, but not regarding Begadim. Begadim, we you know, with the Lach and Shulchan Aruch, in the end of, in Tafku of Chav Sif Aleph, that there's supposed to be spe- special Begadim for Yom Tiv. You now it's hard with the, with the children to satisfy them with Big Day Shabbos, to have a whole new wardrobe of Big Day Yom Tiv, I know is challenging. But the Ma'isi Yom Tiv is more than Shabbos. But that does not apply to Yom Kippur. Save the new suit for, for, for Sukkot when it's man sim chaseinu. Now the only thing I should mention, this is Maran Shabbos, the Kofi Yotes, the Kedosh Hashem Mechobod, Zeya Em Kippa, She'ein Ba Le'achilu Le'ishasiyah, Omre Toya Chabdeyu, Bixus Nekiyah. Doesn't mean, because of Chadashim. Bixus Nekiyah means, there should be a nice tablecloth, clean shirts, it should be laundered, that, yes, some people have a special white yarmulke, some people still wear this white, begodim, white garto, that's the Ksus Nikiyah. But the mitzvah of Simcha on Yom Tiv by Begadim more than Shabbos is only the Gimel Regalim, not Rosh Hashanah. Or Yom Kippur Fakir, Shechon Aruch says in Rosh Hashanah, we shouldn't dress with all of the, women should dress with all of the, 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 the different uh, jewelry. There has to be a certain sense of Eim Asadim. A very important question, a double question this year, and that is, are we allowed to daven for personal needs, for panosa, shaduchim, for gezunt, for choyla, on Yom Kippur, and this Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos? So the emphasis is that we should know this, the same discussion regarding Rosh Hashanah, but we'll talk about Yom Kippur today. The Poiskim say, as we know, Shabbos, it's Allah in the end of Hilchash, in Simen Reish, Peches, in Hilchash Shabbos, you're not allowed to daven for personal needs. In fact, when we say Mishabeirach, it's a shtikl b'dievet, Shabbos him elizik, pruh kroi v'lavi, we say. Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur is not particularly the time for our own needs. Rosh Hashanah is the day of Malchus. The Zoya says that people have their own bakash in Rosh Hashanah. He says it's wrong. It's like, a, like we're saying, have, have, give, give. Rosh Hashanah is maloi chalal mkula b'chvaydecha. Yom Kippur is a day of slich and mechila, of tshuva. Why, why are we getting, mixing in our personal needs? But the Maisa, it's interesting, I once collected a number of gedolim, and the list is growing. This will, won't work in our times. Because if you're Hashanah, we don't daven for our own needs, then we won't relate to the Rosh Hashanah. We won't feel the miyich and miyomis. None other than Ritzel of Petersburg, quoting Rosh Salanta, this is in Koyach Vayar's Ahmed Reish, Samach Beis, he says, although ideally one should not daven for personal needs, Yom Narayim, but if we don't daven for personal needs today in our times, he writes, it's a lack of amuna. We don't believe in the Yom Adin. <laughs> That's how much he made a change. 
And she do a taka, the Chazanish said this, the Chazka Levinson said this, and many G'dayim have said this. <laughs> there has to be a, a feeling of, of, of what Rosh is all about, you know. Rav Hutner said it's wrong. People have them. Uvachain, gelt. Tain, gelt. Pachtecha, gelt. <laughs> Every word is gelt, gelt, gelt. You know, that's wrong. But there's got to be, you know, at least a little bit for our personal needs. Now, that is true even Rosh Hashanah where the Zoya already was very critical of those like Kelev, Sha'im, Hav, Hav. Yom Kippur, I think it's easier to understand that there's more of a Mokoim or Makar for personal needs. Because Yom Kippur, as I told from Rabbi Chaskel, is a marvel of Rachamim. When else should we daven for ourselves in Yom Kippur? So if by Rosh Hashanah, which primarily is Malchus, we are Mekel today, certainly Yom Kippur should not be a problem. The only question is, maybe Shabbos, Yom Kippur, is different. Because Mitzat Shabbos, we have the Halach and Simon Reish Peches, not to ask a personal request. But then again, here we'll use the Tzemach Tzedek and the Arsameach a little bit lakula. That they both understood that Yom Kippur takes away from Shabbos its identity as Shabbos. And Lamaisa, Yom Kippur is a day of Chosmeinu B'Seif Achayim, and, and all, all the urgency of Imlai Achshiv Eimasai. And that's probably why the Minigarilam is to daven for personal needs. Of course, it has to you know, be appropriate where you put it in. As a Chaynu Lachayim is a good place, Michamoicha, Lachayin Tsar. But Adra, but today it has to be, we have to understand that you know, we're fighting for our lives, literally, and that's the time to do it. Another point, which is exclusively a Shabbos question, in Shachon Aruch Reish Peiches Beis, the Shachon Aruch says it's inappropriate or it's wrong to cry on Shabbos. But, as we know, like the Velt says, the Yom Kippur Marza that's not soaked with tears, it's not a, it's not a Marza. That will even be on Chalba Shabbos. Darizal is quoted in the Berhetiv Tafko Peidal at Siv Gimel, that the Darizal will cry on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, and Pashtis, it's even Chal B'Shabbos, and Misha Eini Boicha B'Yom Eilu, Ein Nishmasei Toi V'Ushleima. Wow. Even though, really, we'd say, well, maybe you shouldn't cry in Shabbos Yom Kippur, but Darizal did not seem to differentiate. And how much Teich and Tredner goes into davening Yom Kippur by the Noshim's davening, the Noshim's davening, the Dalak is Neiris. Definitely, definitely, the Minig Yisrael is Taka to daven for needs and to cry. The Goyin in Maiserav and Biagra said it's inappropriate to cry on Rosh Hashanah. Because he touched the Pasik, but the Navi criticized Klai Yisrael, but they were very depressed of Yom Hashanah. Al Tivchu, don't cry, ki Kadash Yom but the Tamid Agra said the Goyen meant, you know, and he said, this is the Moshe he gives, like those Chazonim, that it says in the Machsa, cry now. <laughs> to the so that's wrong. But if a person cries from, from emotion, a vada that's cherished by the Rebbein Shalom, if I care, the, the, the such as Avoid, this says a person trying to bring out tears, because the Shari Demoy is lying in Alu. So I know it's a big agenda, than I, it's a bigger sugi than I just did, but it seems Lamaisa that the Yom Kippur is the biggest Yom Tiv. But the, the, the essence of the Yom Tiv is Yom Slichu Mechila. And we have to try to make sure we get that Yom Slichu Mechila. The only question you might ask from a halachic perspective is, how could we say this is true? The Mechaba twice. In Hilchas Rosh Hashanah, in Tafkov Beidalid, in Hilchas Yom Kippur, twice the Mechaba says that we don't say Avinu Malkeinu when it's, when it's Chal on Shabbos, whether Rosh Hashanah or Yom Kippur. So the question is, how can we say a lot of that person needs? We don't do that regarding Avinu Malkeinu. So the Chayda Teres is Pashit. Avinu Malkeinu was a tefillah that was composed specifically for Itay Sara. You look in the Mishnah Tainus. It was composed when there wasn't rain. There are Chashuch and Tafra, as you test, Siv Ches, asked this Kasha also. And he says that really, we said Avinu Malkeinu already almost 10 days. It's Rosh Hashanah and says Mechuva. So if you leave it out on Shabbos, it's only the Hakeir Ba'alma. But Rav Moshe, he discusses about saying the Tchina, that some say by the Duchening. So he says very, he says very emphatically, there's no Issa Tchinas, Lekka Issa B'Yom Kippur, Av Shechal B'Shabbos, the Kol HaYoyim Hu Lubakoshas Tachnunim. Rav Moshe put a whole new identity, Yom Kippur is a day of Tfilos. 
So that certainly makes us a little more comfortable with what we're saying, that Avada, the tefillah is, the, the bakasha is, the tear, that is the essence of the day. And I could prove it. Because on a regular Shabbos or Yom Tov, when we make a Mishabeirach, we have to add Yom Tov Himalizik, Shabbos Himalizik, Zok Temat Efraim, Tov Kuf Chav Dalad, Siv Chav Hei, the minik is on Rosh Hashanah Kippah, we make a Mishabeirach, and we don't say Himalizik. Why not? Obviously, it's not a, viol- it's not a breach in Allah, because the, those are the days when we do daven. Another interesting Shabbos Yom Kippur question, we once heard a shayla, someone had a baby during the week of Sarah Sameh Tshuva, and that year, Yom Kippur Chal Shabbos. What do you do about a Shalom Zacha? So I know someone who was waiting anxiously for his first anical to be born, and the baby was born in between Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur and the Shalom Zacha was Shabbos, and he went out and he bought every imaginable and unimaginable um, psalmim that, that, that's on the market. And so I told him, you should give a test for her, whoever comes, what are the five brachas, and what's the order? I wonder who's going to pass that test. But anyhow, this is what he did. But I did see, uh, the Piskei Tshuva's quotes, I say, I don't have Minhage, Maritz, Halevi, it's a Haintiga, that Chaim Kanyevsky says, make the Shalom Zacham, but so Yem Kippur. The Pnei Menachem said, make the, make the Shalom Zacham the next Shabbos, after the bris. Why not make it on, on Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos? So my feeling only was, if someone, now I'm not saying that Shalom Zach is a regular party, but the Maisa, the Yom Kippur, is a day with so much to accomplish in so short of a time. You know, we need at least two days Yom Kippur. But one day is just never enough. You know, some Zalm would wake up as Enoko, an hour before davening, Kum Kro, El Kecha, wake up, every moment of Yom Kippur is precious. Shalom Shadron used to tell that he, he davened in the, when his Rebbe, the Leib Chasman, was sick. They had a minion in his house in Yom Kippur. And there was time in between the Mincha and the Elah, and they were time schmoozing. So Leib told them that, you know, it's in, we lane them, the, the Navi Yoina, when they realized that it was Yoina's fault, a big storm, he says, Sauni, pick me up and throw me into the ocean. So Leib said, why do you have to say Sauni? Of course, you have to pick him up and throw him in. So he was stressing Give me another second in Olam Hazeh. Pick me up. Do it slowly so I can enjoy Olam Hazeh and then throw me in. Because it was a moment of tshuva. He was doing tshuva. Shenemo in that moment. He says, every moment in Kip is so precious, don't let a moment go by not being used. So maybe, again, we don't say Halon Yom Kippur because Sif Chaim Sir Mason. Maybe these G'daylam felt that to make a Shalom Zacha, people come, what do you do? You know, you shmoo. It's just not within the spirit of the day. Now, if someone makes a Shalom Zacha, fine, I have no problem. But definitely, these G'daylam recommended, maybe, Sa'uni, every moment of it, used properly, and not to squander it, even on something as uh, holy as a Shalom Zacha. I once saw a fascinating question. This is typical of Yosef Engel and Yoni Ashas in Masech the Yuma, Pe'alf Medbez, who asks a novel question. This coming Shabbos, we're deprived of the Heiliger Mitzvah of Kiddush and Suda Shabbos. Why don't we have a, 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 an interesting uh, solution to the problem? We'll make early Shabbos Friday, have a Suda, Shabbos, Suda Shabbos with Zmiris. We'll bench with Ritzay. We'll bench a few minutes before the Zman. And then after benching, we will be Makabal Yom Kippur and Shalom Al Yisrael. Early Shabbos, not early Yom Kippur, and we have a Suda, and then we go into Yom Kippur. So his terrorist, which is Pashat, is you can't spell today. You can't divide a day. Yud Tishrei is Shabbos Shechal Yom Kippur. If it's Shabbos, it's Yom Kippur. But I was thinking, Leit Tzemach Tzedek and the Ur Sameach, the Kasha doesn't begin. There is no Schiyav Suda on this Shabbos. So why do you have to struggle and come on to the, the patent of making a, 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 a division? So that terror, I think, is probably uh, as good as a terror. It's, it's just, there is no chiv on this day. But you see how many ha'oras, lemais, we have from this simple question of identifying the status of the day. A point I must mention that many people daven in, in their shul, you know, not with the Rebbe or the Shiva, and very often they have to drive to get there, Erev Yom Kippur. So for men, it's not a problem. You go early. But the problem is for women that want to light at home and then go to their shul for Yom Kippur. So people are programmed, you light Neiris with the Tanai, and then you drive, and then you're okay. But that's, that's 
only mutter, first of all, even on Shabbos, only when there's a Tzorah of God. Okay, but assuming there's a Tzorah of God, or daven by your special shul. But Yom Kippur, we also make a Shechianu by Neiris. And according to most Paiskim, when you make Shechianu, you makabal itzum shal yoyim. So an Isha that wants to go into a car, or do any malacha after that is Neiris, if you think it's a Tzorah of God, you'll let him make it tonight. But don't make Shechianu. I was going to Shechianu, like the men, making the shul. If she's afraid, she might forget until Davin, when you get to that part of Davin. So make when you get to Shul, when you're ready to make Kabul, Yom Kippur, alone. But to say it, and then get into a car, like many Paiskim, is a Chilo Yom Tiv, not a good idea on, as you start Yom Kippur. Also, this coming Shabbos, we have an, an, a, a longer Nusuch of the Bracha. It's not just Mekel Hadak Neresh Yom Kippur, it's Hadak Neresh Shabbos for Yom Kippur. We often had a Shaila and Isha forgot to mention one of the two. So I must tell you, it's a mitzvah of Farsim. We have two upcoming Yom Toivim, um, Sukkis and, and, and Simchas Toira, that lead into a regular Shabbos. For two days, the women made the Baruch Lahad Ner Shayamtiv, and then the third day, we hear the Shaila, the Isha again, Mihad Ner Shayamtiv. Now, Lachas, she's not Yoytzib with that Bracha, it's the wrong Bracha. Now, Yoytzib with the Neiris, fine, but not with the Bracha. It would be ideal for her to hear a bracha from someone else. She would she make a bracha on these neighbors. The Chiddush is, if you have to say two, and you only said one, so I saw a number of pies and say, but the Ebed is good. If on Yom Kippur, you, oh, Eric and Kippur, you only said, Lahad Ner Shel Shabbos, you're not Yoytza. Even though we said, but there, Drew Shabbos Shabbos, but Yom Kippur is not Shabbos. So at least on Yom Kippur, we do things right. So tell the Nashim, remember, it's not something they're used to, this, this, Adlok is Neiris, we make two things. And more importantly, Sukkis, going into Shabbos, so we start going into Shabbos, tell the notion that the Nusach HaBrachah changes. A few quick points about the davening. Shechianu, interesting, we say Shechianu every year, that's Kabbalah's Yom Kippurim, that's uh, at least the, 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 together with Klai Yisrael. This year we have Kabbalah Shabbos. What should be the right order? What goes first? Shechianu, Yom Kippur, or Kabbalah Shabbos? So in Svara, we would say, what do you mean? Um, Kabbalah Shabbos is Tadir. And Takadir of the Stei Chemed in Yom Kippur Be'ez Gimel, he says, Taka, that indeed Kabbalah Shabbos goes first. The, that's the Sita of the Sita Yaivitz and the Shulchan HaTohar. However, Mate Ephraim, Mate Ephraim, and Mishnah Bura clearly passing like this. No, we have to make the Shechianu and then Kabbalah Shabbos. And there are interesting two reasons why. If you're going to make the Kabbalah Shabbos and then Shechianu, it looks like the Shechianu is going back on Shabbos. We just say Kabbalah Shabbos. Va'oid, Zokat HaKafachayim, Tafa Yishotes, Siv Kat Lam Bezayin, Shechianu is a Choyva Um Kudish more than Kabbalah Shabbos. That's a minute. He quotes from one of the Rishayim. Shechianu is a Chiyav on the Yom Tov. Kabbalah Shabbos is a minute. I mean, you have to be Kabbalah Shabbos, but the, but the Mizmai Shir or the Chodoidi, whatever you say, that's not a Chiv. But I saw a Dov Nifla, the Chalkes Yoyev, in Simen Lamed. He has a whole schmooze about Eni Sechal And he says, if you're Makabal Shabbos first, and Makabal Yom Kippur first, maybe you can't be Makabal Shabbos afterwards. Because there's nothing Makabal. Because Yom Kippur has Shabbos plus. So maybe there's no way to makabal Yom Kippur. So therefore you have to first be makabal Yom Kippur, and uh, first, be, I'm sorry, first be makabal Shabbos, and then makabal Yom Kippur. Otherwise, he says, you're not going to be makabal anything. You have to be moisif to the Issa, of course, with Achila. But that's not the minute. The minute, as I told you, we make a Shechianu, and then Kabbalah Shabbos. Lemaisa, the, we don't say the word besimcha of like as we usually do on a regular Yom Tiv, because it's not that full-blown Yom Tiv. We don't say, we'd say, because a day of tainus is not a day of menucha. Nothing wrong with the tainus, but it's just not a day of menucha. Very important, the Gemara in Shabbos Kuf Yutes speaks very highly of someone that says, Vayichulu, either Nasa Shutla Kaddish Baruch Hu, Maisabreshis, and or he's Zaychatu Mechila. This year, Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, Vayichul is at risk, especially for B'nai Yishiv, and I'll tell you why. We usually say Vayichul three times. Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, we only say it once, not in Shemayin Esra, not there, after Shemayin Esra. 
in the yeshiva, when they start the Chedar Sashatz of Mayriv, at least 50% are still davening. And they finish different times. But they finish, they jump right into whatever the tzibah is saying, Shmak or whatever, something important. Who remembers to say Vayichud? It's the only Vayichud you're going to say. You're not going with a Kiddush. I mean, the Kavachayim, Salpika, Bola, say three times, but once you should, at least you should say. So I was thinking they should they have a new minig. I don't want to make new manhagim. After they finish Mayrib, they should make a clap by Yechulu. You probably have a hundred people in the yeshiva saying by Yechulu together. But otherwise, again, you, it's at risk. You might miss it. Because Pashat, it's not in our program. We don't do such a thing that we don't have it in Shemayin Esra. Someone asked me if as anything he heard it's, it's, an, it's wrong to make a cholent this Shabbos to feed his ketanim or cholent have to eat. So I laughed silently. It's Pashat Ramaratzis. The Shulchan Aruch has a whole simon, tough rage test, that's inappropriate on Erev Yom Kippur to keep food on the fire from Metzoy Yom Kippur. What's wrong? Erev Yom Kippur, no malacha. So the, the Bach and the Kitz Shulchan Aruch says, Nirikarav Sanusa. It looks like gluttonous. Like, the only thing you have in mind, Erev Yom Kippur is you should have a hot soup on Metzoy Yom Kippur. I mean, Rabbi, you know, it's Yom Kippur. What, what are you worrying about? Your food? So if that's the case, and it's Pasha, the, the Evan Yisrael, but you saw Yankov Fish at Chelek Tez, Ahmed Kuf Tezayin says it's Beferish. It's only a din of putting away food for a healthy person. But to keep child on the blech for a chayla, for a cotton, absolutely nothing wrong whatsoever. And now the last part, the interesting, do we take Pesamim on Yom Kippur, on Matzoy Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos? So this is a beautiful nafkamin of our whole sugya. On a regular Yom Kippur, there's no reason to take Psalmim. Psalmim was taken because the Bernishim gave Adam the Chachma to create fire Matzoi Shabbos. Aisha on Matzoi Shabbos. That has no Shaykhis to a regular Yom Kippur. Plus Yom Kippur, presumably, there's no in the Shem Yisera. So Matzoi Yom Kippur, we don't make Psalmim. That's the Machaba in Tafre Shchav Dalit. The question is this coming Yom Kippur is also Matzoi Shabbos. Do we take psalmim? So the child is there. Is there an asham yisera on the Shabbos? There's no achila. There's no kiddush. But at Shabbos, zok to kol in the end of simen ayin. Either on, on even chal be Shabbos there's no psalmim because there was no asham yisera because there's no suda Shabbos. And that's the sheet of the mechab and tafre shchavdal at siv gimel. However, the Morgan Avram quotes the Bach, Mariel, Abu Jaham, and Marshal. What does it have to do with Suda? Shabbos has an Hashem Yaseira. And he says, and if you make guff, make the, you make a bracha on Psalmim, you can't be a bracha of Atala, what's the problem? And Taka, that's the Meshit of most Paiskim, the Rab, Matafrayim, Rachshuch, Yitzhanach, that we do say the bracha of Psalmim this coming Mitzvah Shabbos. But it's tricky. Because there might be a different problem. Let's say I make an Avdala. So I make a bracha of Gafen, then I make the bracha of Psalmim. If indeed there is no chiyah psalmim, so the bracha of psalm is a hefsik. And that's the Taz's problem. What do you mean there's no problem? There's a problem. Maybe not bracha of but hefsik. So some make the bracha of psalmim before Avdallah, some make it after Avdallah, and some have a meaning that one of the shaymen make the bracha on psalmim, because he can't, there's no hefsik, he's not drinking the wine. So I have no problem of, of hefsik on my hagafen. But someone asked Rabbi Yashiv in, in Chelek Al Simon Lamad Gimel, maybe the, a good idea, I'll make the bracha on Psalmim before Havdalah. But you want to have the Havdalah in the regular Nusach Yak Nahaz, I'll smell the Psalmim after the Gaf not making a bracha. So Rabbi Yashiv says, no, the smelling is the Hefsik. <laughs> so that's why the Minik seems to be most Kleisro, we make the brachas regularly, it's not a Hefsik because it's a Chiv of Havdalah. The Ner Shabbos, as we know, on Yom Kippur is a chiv to have Matzoy Yom Kippur. This Shabbos is less of a chiv. I can't say it's not a chiv at all. Some say, Lamaisa, you should have a Ner Shabbos, even Matzoy Yom Kippur, Shechal B'Shabbos. But if someone doesn't have it, it's okay. And Achrein Chavev, I'll tell you an interesting thing about the post Havdola. The question of Zilberstein is the first that asked this Shail in Shabbos Shabbos in Simon Kufnun Gimel. Is there a chiv of Malava Malka this coming Matzoi Shabbos. Because he is convinced, as of Shtermach and Chelekei Kuf Pezayin, that the Malava Malka is a takeoff of Oynik Shabbos that we enjoy throughout the Shabbos. If there's no Oynik Shabbos, so there's no Malava Malka. So he understood it, it's the end of a Oynik Shabbos.
But the truth is, no one said this. And the truth is, if you look in the base, Yosef and Simon Shin, the whole, whole Shulchan Aruch Sif, Simon, about Malava Malka, base Yosef has two reasons for that Malava Malka. One is to Malava the Melech, Shabbos, and also the special bone that only has sustenance from Malava Malka. Both those reasons should apply. Now, Lamaisa, we do have a Suda anyhow, from Matayim Kippur, which the Maral, the Maril, in Menhagim Omen Shinnun Ches, calls Isu Chag Yom Kippur. Keep that in mind. But then after Havdalah, before the Malava Malka, I'll tell you a Dovah Nifla, Bichsam Soifa, in Simen Samach Zayim, he says the Minig by in Ashkenaz, in Germany, that the, that the Piyot, the, 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 the Pizmain, Hamavdam and Kodesh Lechol, they only say in Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. Why? So Chamsayf is a Dovah Pella, which is very convincing. That really, that was made only for Moitzoy Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. Look how many times we talk about Chet. Chatesein hu yimchol al chatei ovar, yoyim pona bet kitzel oiva, chol v'avoynes midchosi, pischu lisha amenuto. Chatesein hu yimchol is convinced that originally it was made for Moitzoy Yom Kippur. Grada became every Moitzoy Shabbos. So even if you don't say it in a regular, you know, a Megal Matzai Shabbos, this Matzai Shabbos say, I think we should have a Gemach Sima Toi, V'lo Nuch Al Yisrael, Amen V'Amen. Shem, you can shoot your lucky. Give a big yash of character, I'll smith it to the Shia, Gemach Sima Toi, V'Fad Ol Olam. Just to, to have we learned today, no doubt about it, uh, key. Yom Kippur is the biggest Yom Tiv. It's not an eating Yom Tiv, not a Kiddush Yom Tiv, but it's a day of great opportunity. That's why Lamaisa, there is no Kiddush, there's no Lechem Mishnah on a regular Yom Kippur for sure. We do say Yal Yavai, that's not a steer, that's part of the, like by davening, some benching, but basically, we, it's a Yom Kippur is a day of Slichu Mechila. Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos, that was our focus of today. There's a very good reason to believe the same idea. It's maybe a biggest Shabbos, not a Shabbos of Kugel and Shalom. It's a Shabbos of Slich and Mechila, but it doesn't have the regular essence, the regular Mahus of a Shabbos. That's why the meaning is not to make Kiddush, and you use Lechemish, not, not Lechiyuva, it's just the why not. But it seems that basically that it's not a regular Shabbos, it's a Shabbos, Shachal Yom Kippur, we'll say, but there are Jewish, it's a Shabbos Shabbosim, it's the king of all Shabbosim. Lamaisa, Lecha Mishnah, no, we, if you have it, it's, it's better to use it, especially for Choyot, needs a little chizik, but we can't say it's a Chiyav, even on Chal Shabbos. We don't make Kiddush even on Chal B'Shabbos, the Tzemach Tzedek and our Sameach, both understood that it's not a regular Shabbos, even regarding the basic halachis. All agree, Lachari should make Kiddush B'dibur on Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. Yom Kippur not, but Yom Kippur Shechal B'Shabbos. There is a Chiyav Daraisa of Kiddush B'dvarim, which Sri Chayis Kavana have a mind to do it. L'Shem Mitzvah's Kiddush. Noshim should try to also be yoy to the Mitzvah. It's therefore, they're, they're the same Chiyav Kiddush like men. They're, the, basically, there is no Chiyav of Oynik Shabbos, but if a person is eating, let him have a regular good Suda. And the truth I forgot to mention, a choyel that eats and, and eating food that he doesn't enjoy is not satisfied, so he has to end up eating more. So it's kedai to eat a good suda and be satisfied with what you have. Besamim is a form of oinig that we take on Yom Kippur also to supplement 
the Meir Brachis, Tishbev, we Dafka don't take Psalmen, but again, Tishbev and Kippah are the very opposites. Meir Brachis was short, if you listen to Laning and all the Brachis, three, so a little bit of Psalmen, an extra Ashiyatza, and you're okay. We saw Tabak, some say Dafka don't take it, to not to be Mamayit in the Inui, Mashag said just the opposite, don't increase Tsar unnecessarily, a little bit of friction about the Mahos of Yom Kippah. But definitely the new Begadim saved them for Sukkis. The Ksus Nikia, the white Begadim, that's very much part of the Yom Tov, but not the extra special Begadim. That's the Afkut for the, for the Yom Tovim of Simcha. Personal requests, even tears, is the essence of the day. The Yom Kippur Machsa is tears. Misha Berach, we don't say Yom Tovim Elizik, Shav Zim Elizik. A Shalom Zacha, some Paiskim advise delaying it, either the, the next night or that Shabbos. Don't make an early Shabbos to be able to have the Suda because there is no Chi of Suda. The Neiris, make sure you say the right, the right Chasima. Befrat, when it goes from Shabbos, from Yom Tev into Shabbos. If you want to light Neiris and go in the car, don't make a Shechianu. Shechianu and then Kabbalah Shabbos. Davening, we daven, we don't say Retzeb Nu Chaseinu. Vayachulu, make sure to say the Shabbos. The Cholent on Shabbos is perfectly okay. Besamim, we do make the bracha on Besamim, Matzoy Yom Kippur Chal B'Shabbos. We do try to get an air Shabbos, it's not Ma'akiv. And yes, we do have a Malava Malka. Amen. Chayn Lamasik. Simcha. Yeah. So that if you break it fast, it's actually a market that's...